Hello and welcome to Virtual Church and a very special welcome to the largest church in Hampshire. That is, of course, Romsey Abbey, where we are today. This is a very special virtual church. This is the first time that we've actually recorded outside of Beauty in Sound headquarters. And at the front of the church is an 1858 Walker organ. And I think this is one of the um, certainly one of the finest in Hampshire. The church where we are now is a mixture of Norman architecture and Gothic architecture. It survived the Vikings, it survived Henry VIII, um, village people or the townspeople bought it for £100. I wish it was still worth £100 today. And then it survived the Civil War as well. So it's actually done pretty well. Up on this side of the church um, is a rather newer um, organ. This is the nave organ. This is the walker organ, which dates from the 1990s. But where we'll be playing today is up at the east end of the abbey, just beside the altar, the main organ. And I will use the organ back there as well. Very beautiful pulpit. You might want to get that on. So I think everything's in place. We just need to um, get the first hymn ready, which is going to be a request from Jerry Martin and Blanwern, Love Divine or Love's Excelling. We are walking through the choir stalls right here. It's worth seeing how far they are apart compared to a lot of English cathedrals. They are very far apart indeed. What a stunning place this is. So I'm going to get myself onto the organ just in time for the first hymn. And I really hope you enjoy this virtual church from Romsey Abbey.
such a beautiful sound indeed, isn't it? It's a really English um, warm sound. Jerry, I hope that was okay for you. Guys, we haven't got a huge amount of time, so I'm gonna have to get through these hymns really, really quickly. I'm sure you won't mind that at all. Let's push on to the next hymn, which is one of my favorites. Uh, Richard, another patron, um, has requested the church's one foundation and the tune Aurelia. This is a really, really beautiful hymn indeed, isn't it? I'm gonna have to multitask. I'm gonna look all over the place here. Let's have a look for Noel Rawsthorn. I've brought Noel Rawsthorn to Romsey Abbey. I think it'd be rude not to have done that, wouldn't it? I don't, I don't really need it for this hymn, to be honest with you. I do my own thing anyway, but let's just rem remind ourselves what he does. So this is the church's one foundation. We are gonna miss out to verse three, if that's okay. So here we go, the church's one foundation for Richard. So the first hymn, we actually had quite a lot of nave coupled. These stops here are the nave division. And for that hymn, I didn't use it at all. I wonder whether we can tell the difference in the recording. As I'm going through this virtual church, I'll tell you a bit, a bit about this organ. It's a three manual, as you can see. Uh, the choir division is over here. Uh, we have some beautiful stops, <coughs> excuse me, on the choir. So we have this gamba. Dulciana. I don't know what this stop is, because the stop heads come off. It's a 
four foot, isn't it? And it, uh, and it stops diapason. Four foot flute. Um, the clarinet, which you heard in that hymn just now. And then a really wonderful tuba as well. Really wonderful indeed. It's a really, really terrific organ indeed. That's okay. So let's go into 641 for Glorious Things of Thee Are Spoken. Um, the tune here is actually is not at all correct. 241, I'm going to 271. Uh, this is for Larry. Larry is another one of our um, Patreons. So thank you very much, Larry. And yeah, here we go, Abbot's Lee. So we'll have three verses of this hymn. Let's start actually with um, the Nave Division only. And I'll de demonstrate how the Nave Division um, sounds in relation to the, to the main organ, and then I'll um, work it up. The glorious things of thee are spoken. It's really, really exciting and it really fills the building extremely well. You can really hear the sound bouncing around in this wonderful space. So the swell division, we actually have um, an, a double stops diapason here. Followed by an eight foot. Uh, open diapason, four foot principle. 
two foot. Mixture. Four foot flute. An, an um, orbois or horn, hort boy. <laughs> Eight foot cornopian. And it's uh, four foot as well. Let's turn the volume down now. Let's have a listen, let's listen to some of these quieter stops. This is Be Still My Soul, The Lord Is On Your Side, um, a request from, um, from Digital Worship Band. Thank you for your submission, by the way. Um, terrific stuff. Um, yes, yeah, so let's explore some of the quieter ones. Let's start with the, let's have a listen to the Clarabella on the Great as a solo stop by itself, accompanied by some of the quieter stops down on the choir. Uh, of course, coupled with the swell as well. There's no couple of button here, so I need, need to make sure I don't get myself into a bit of a muddle. Okay, so this is the, um, the Clarabella stop. Be, be still my soul, we'll have three verses. The Lord is on your side.
really, really warm clarinet down on the choir, isn't it? It's called a, a Cremona. I don't actually know the historical context of what a Cremona actually is. Maybe it's an old clarinet. I don't know. Someone in the live chat will um, almost certainly tell us. Next hymn, we sing the praise of him who died, of him who died upon the cross, um, to the tune Bo Brick Hill is a request from Story Angel. Um, so we'll have all, all five verses of this because it's over really rather quickly. So let's find um, a sort of a warm eight and a four and a two sound. And get the um, Navy Division coupled up again. Um, get rid of the, the mutations. Quiet, great. Here we go. So we sing the praise of him who died. also say that Story Angel um, um, requested that in memory of her father. Um, it was his uh, birthday on the um, on the 18th of June. Okay, so let's go. Let's keep let's keep going. In fact, what I'm going to do now is actually um, play one more hymn, and then we'll have a um, an organ voluntary, as it were, to show off the tuba. So we had the C.S. Lang tuba uh, last week on Virtual Church, but let's have it on a real tuba today. So we'll have this hymn here, which is, um, Hark, hark, my soul, angelic songs are swelling over earth's green fields and ocean's wave beat. Sure, this is for good chappy. All of these requests so far um, are from people who are patrons. So thank you very much for your support, guys. I don't know which one at all, good chappy. So let's, um, let's turn the volume down a little bit and see where the mood takes us, shall we? Let's stay off, let's stay off the grates for a little while. I might use some of the grates for some solo stuff in a bit. 
um, let's stay down on the choir. Okay, so hark, hark, my soul, for good chappy. Sorry that I cut you short by one verse there, good chappy. Um, we haven't got a lot of time in here today, so I'm having to get through as much as I can in a very short period. Let's have a listen to this tuba tune by Lang, shall we? So, um, where is the tuba? There it is. <laughs> Let's pull out some swell. Let's get some pedal stops on. Uh, great to pedal, swell to pedal, swell to great, of course. Um, I don't know whether this will balance or not. I'm not going to use any nave division at all for this one. Um, that might obscure the tuba. We don't want that. Okay, so here we go. This is the C.S. Lang tuba tune um, on this wonderful organ.
such a fun piece that isn't it i hope that balanced okay i really hope it balanced okay it's very hard sitting here to get a um a context of what the sound balance is actually like because a lot of the sound goes over my head straight over there okay so what we're going to next neh 414 04 a closer walk with God, this is for Henk, who is another one of our very loyal patrons based over in the Netherlands and always requests such great hymns, which I'm very relieved about. I think I'm going to start this one fairly quietly, um, maybe just nothing more than the eight foots. In fact, let's just try that. Let's have all of the eight foot stops. Find that really rich sound that you know I like so much. Quiet, great. There we go. So. Hank has asked for a, for a closer walk with God. Wonderful stuff indeed, wonderful stuff. Okay, where are we going to next? We're going to have um, a hymn, um, which is on a bit of paper here. This is for, um, uh, this is for Ben. Sorry, Ben, I'm losing myself on the list. It's called Here is Love. Um, the title is in Welsh, I'm not going to pronounce it. Um, C-Y-M-R-A-E-G, Cymraeg. Um, three verses and it looks like a very sort of a slow one so we'll have a nice solo uh, mutation type stop on the uh, on the great couple accompanied by the, the flutes on the swell and the choir so here here is love vast as the ocean
really beautiful tune, isn't it? Really beautiful indeed. I've uh, played that one before on Virtual Church, so it's the only place I've ever played it here on Virtual Church. Back to um, Ancient and Modern now for 698 for a request from Julian. Um, and Julian has asked for King of Glory, King of Peace. I will lovely, uh, love thee. Now, he, won't, he hasn't asked for the usual tune of... He's asked for the wonderful tune by Malcolm, Ar uh, Malcolm Archer called Redland. And we have had this before, so I'm very happy to play it. So I'll solo out, this, um, I'll solo out the tune for the first verse. Um, using the great trumpet and the nave trumpet um, and uh, accompanied by various other things. I keep losing uh, swell to choir. Where is it? There it is. It's already on. Okay, King of Glory, King of Peace, I will love thee to a tune by Malcolm Archer, words by George Herbert and is a request from Julian. Here we go. Just going to have a couple more hymns before the voluntary tonight. Uh, the wonderful prelude and fugue in G major, BWV 550 by J.S. Bach. This is beautiful uh, saviour, king of creation, son of God and son of man. It's a request uh, from, ooh, I'm not sure who it's a request from. It says here, um, I'm not sure, I'm, I apologize. Who's this a request from Caroline? Beautiful saviour, Ruts live, Ruthie. Caroline will have to write a bit more um, neater, I think. Uh, Ruthie, this is for you. Beautiful saviour, king of creation.
Thank you, Ruthie, and sorry for not being able to read um, what's written in front of me. Okay, I can read Cheryl's name, and I can also read Common Praise and 221. Um, the tune is called Beatitude. The words are, um, how bright these glorious spirits shine, whence all their white array. So we're going to only have four verses um, just because of time. So, how bright these glorious spirits shine for Cheryl. Wonderful tune. I love the um, the very cheeky harmony towards the end with the um, flattened seventh, raising it up to the F sharp, along with the G sharp in the tenor part. Wonderful writing. Twinkle in the composer's eye at that point, I think. We're going to have one more hymn, and then we're going to go into tonight's voluntary, the the, the great G major bark, um, which it could be um, well, it is a rival for the jig fugue. Um, so one more hymn. Just before we do that, let's have a quick look at these um, great stops. So actually the great has two 16-foot um, diapasons. Oh, hang on a second. There we go. That's a double metal diapason. This is a double diapason. Then we have a large open diapason, eight foot. A smaller one. Stops that page in eight foot. The Clarabella, which you've already heard. Uh, four foot flute, so the eight and four flutes. It's got a 15th, so that will go with the, with the four foot and eight foot uh, diapasons. With the large diapason. And then with the 16 feet, foot, foot stops. And then we have the mixture, so we have a full mixture. It sounds like this. Mixture with two ranks. Um, we 
have the um, two mutations of a twelfth, so with the four foot flute and the eight foot flute. And then uh, the TS. With the twelfth. And we have two reeds, so we have an eight foot, an eight foot trumpet. And then the clarion as well. Together. And then all of the all of that together. So the full great chorus sounds a bit like this. And then to help lead the nay, uh, the congregation, there is a nave division, as mentioned. So let's start with the eight foot flute. Four foot. Open by pays an eight foot. Four foot octave. Two foot. Mixture. Trumpet. And then it also has two pedal stops as well, 16 and an 8. That's the nave division. So let's bring all of that together for this. Um, Come thou fount of every blessing, tune my heart to sing thy grace. The tune is called, uh, called Nettleton. It's a request from Lawrence, another patron. In fact, I think all of these requests today are from patrons. They've done well today. And then we'll go straight into the um, organ voluntary. I really hope you've enjoyed this virtual church today. Um, it's been terrific fun to come and play here. Really, really uh, a lot of fun indeed. Um, but I'll see you in a minute. I'll, I'll chat after the, uh, after the organ voluntary. So come thou fount of every blessing.
let's have the um, bark now. Thank you very much, everyone, indeed, um, for joining me for this uh, very special virtual church, indeed. So this is um, J.S. Bark's Preludium in, uh, in G, BWV 550. I played it uh, last week, um, so you'll probably recognize it. I really hope you enjoy this voluntary. I love playing it. <laughs> it's hard.
Well, thank you very much for joining me today for Virtual Church from Romsey Abbey. Very, very grateful indeed to Martin Seymour, the Director of Music here, and to Thomas, the, uh, the vicar here, for allowing me to uh, come and record this wonderful organ. I do hope you've enjoyed this. If you'd like to see more of these types of virtual church from um, real locations, real organs, please do become a patron. I can't do this without your support. So thank you very much for everyone who has donated, who is a patron, and who helps me. It's really, really uh, generous of you. So until next time, look out for a virtual church from, Rom uh, from Arundel Cathedral uh, in the coming weeks. Um, I will say cheerio. Goodbye. <laughs>